All right, so for my final challenge, I guess what I want to do is I'm just going to talk about why I did this project really out of anything and call it the honesty challenge, I guess. So the reason I thought this project was probably the best for me was because I actually have a diagnosed severe panic and anxiety disorder and I'm really uncomfortable with people and new things and really a lot of pretty much anything. Change is really hard for me. So what I thought I would gain from this project is kind of a new perspective on that. Kind of testing my limits, seeing how far I could go. Um, just really stepping outside of that comfort zone, which is really tiny for me. Um, I mean, I struggle with anxiety every single day. It doesn't go away. I constantly worry about crazy things. I sit on the bus and I think of ways the house could possibly burn down. Or um, the things that can go wrong in a car. Things that people really shouldn't have to think about 24-7 or always be worried about. That's my every day, all the time. I don't have downtime. I have terrible sleeping patterns from it. And I just feel like this project was kind of a eye opener about what you can do and how you can talk and be weird and do random things and it's okay. People really don't care if people aren't going to judge you. Half the time people aren't even going to watch. So you don't have to be so stressed and concerned with every little thing all the time. It doesn't matter. It's just about your happiness. It's just about who you are, what you want to do, and I have learned I have no idea what I want to do. I constantly change my mind. Like I could decide I want to be an astronaut tomorrow. I may not have the grades, but maybe I want to. <laughs> but it's just, it's been kind of different. Like, it definitely has pushed me out of my comfort zone. I've definitely had to think a lot more about what I am capable of. This is what I'm not. I was limited a lot by my budget, which is very tight. When you're a student who lives on their own in a apartment, <laughs> well, a rental. So I don't know. This project just helped a lot. And this is this is the best medicine in the world right here. It's really adorable. Keep kisses, big girl. I'm staring out the window. my camera ever. So this project's really just been about teaching me my boundaries, teaching me what I'm capable of, showing me that I should keep going with this, this is good for me, this is different, this forces me to think ahead, to try and do something, anything, I don't know. It's just, it's a change of pace, it's, I don't know. Like, what I got out of my creativity class was that Creativity is all about being who you are, regardless of who that is. It's about taking a step backward and realizing that we all have the power to be creative. We all have the power to change the world. Like, those moments we had when we were in kindergarten and you wanted to be a paleontologist, rocket scientist, crazy veterinarian, banker. You can be that. You have to think that. That is what being creative is about, is still believing that you can be that crazy person. You can be whatever you want, do whatever you want, invent whatever you want. You can be the next Beyonce, or you can be anything. You can do anything. You're capable of anything, no matter what your background is. You can be terrified, but you have to try. You have to push yourself. It's all about getting comfortable with being uncomfortable like it's just about everything it's about enjoying the little things I learned that I have um sort of OCD combined in with it and um learned that I have to enjoy the little things like a cup of hot chocolate every day or a cup of coffee in the morning every day you have to let yourself just be and you'll feel 10 times better and you can do anything when you feel 10 times better I say hello to people on the bus. I say hello to people in the hallways. I have random conversations in the change room at the gym. I mean, I'm trying new things. I'm trying to do like uh, sort of like a fitness competition kind of. 
So I've been trying new things at the gym and like asking people questions and just really trying to step outside of that comfort zone and learning so much about myself and learning so much about other people and how there are good people out there. There are people who will help you. There are people who will take the time that are interested. There are really nice people out there. You just have to be ready and probably not go looking for them during crazy Christmas shopping time at the mall because you'll probably just get elbowed in the face or the shoulder, as I learned. If I was bigger, I probably would have kicked their butt. She knocked my pen over. I'm not sure I'm happy. Mostly, I just want to say that I want to keep doing this. I want to keep seeing where this goes. I'm not going to make you guys watch it. It's not for my project. It's more for me now. I want to keep pushing myself. Keep seeing what can happen. Try something new every single day. See where I end up. I want to be happy. I want to do everything under the sun that I've ever wanted to do. I want to try everything. <laughs> I just want to be creative. And that's what creativity is to me. It's doing everything that makes you happy. And it's not just about inventing something or thinking outside the box. It's about thinking outside of your box. It's about being more than what you think you can be. I don't know. I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again, but probably what was hardest about doing this assignment was just trying to come up with things to do that wouldn't be too hard on me. It is really difficult for me to do a lot of things, not just financially, but like mentally. I do have a lot of trouble. There's a lot of time constraints. I had a lot of problems with my camera and my laptop, so those were uh, definitely the most difficult parts, and the best part, like I said, is just learning that you can do whatever you want as long as you try. Also, look at it, it's like a blonde now. No more blue, it just kind of turned blonde. Oh, on that note, I'm actually going to get my hair cut next weekend. I tried really, really hard to get it done this weekend, but um, I had talked to a lady about it during the week, she said she had an opening, Phoned. Turns out she didn't, and so I couldn't get it because I get my hair cut out of town because I'm a weirdo who really likes to have their hair done by certain people. I'm very picky about my hair. So, so now next weekend I will post something on that because I said I would. That was part of my thing. So we'll see what kind of big scary change I do there. Um, yeah. I don't know. Just happy that I tried something new, that things went a lot different than I thought they would. I didn't end up in a little ball on the ground crying. <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody who has taken the time to look at these videos and listen to me ramble and just <laughs> tolerated how awkward I am on camera and how much Poe doesn't like to be on camera because everybody watches for Poe. She's so cute. But I'm actually going to start my paper after this about why I did this project and all that. So hopefully I can sound smart. I'm not feeling very smart today. I'm tired. It's been a really busy weekend of visiting people in the hospital, traveling down to High River to see some family. Look at this. Stupid hair. I'm not even going to fix that. But yes. So thank you everybody for kind of tuning in I guess. Thank you for checking out my blog. Thank you for helping me along the way. Thanks for everybody who gave me feedback for the Christmas video that I'm going to finish putting up part two. I thought since it's only the weekend of the 24th and I want to wait until at least December 1st to do Christmas stuff so I'll have everything posted then. I got a couple of little things for it which I'm really excited about. So I hope that you check that out. Um, yeah. So thank you everybody, and I'm really glad that I did this, and yeah, have a beautiful day. Enjoy the weather while it's still a little warm. I'm looking out my window, and the sun's starting to set. I wish I was watching the Stamps game right now, but okay, well, I didn't want to go back down a high river, have stuff to do. Little kitty didn't want me to leave. She threw a hissy fit as soon as I tried to go. So everybody enjoy 
tell me who wins. I wish I had a shirt. I was gonna get a shirt and wear it, but I couldn't find any at the last minute that weren't like $50. So, yeah. Oh, I gotta show you this. This is the highlight of my weekend. My mom got me this. Okay, it's a giant, well, she got it from a coworker. She gave it to me. These, I have terrible circulation. It is a reindeer, and it's a giant slipper that you put both your feet in. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it just keeps my feet cold. My feet are almost too warm now, which is really rare. I love it. But, all right, everybody. Thank you. I will see you soon. Bye.